gonna show you how to make this amazing drink. It helps with your digestive system. You know, it has a lot of um, different health benefits because we're gonna be using some really great things here, okay? So the first thing is we're gonna be using some turmeric, okay? I have a few of those right here. We're gonna also be using some ginger, and these two items just by themselves give you a lot of different um, health benefits, especially for like inflammation, for bloating, for, you know, different things like that, okay? So we have those, we're gonna be using a lime, an orange, and we're gonna be using some juice from this pine, from the pineapples. Now this one has no sugar added. So it's, just, it's not gonna give it a whole lot of sweetness, but it's gonna give it enough because you know, pineapples by themselves have um, sugar in it and the total um, amount of sugar that's in here is 14 grams, okay? Like I said, that's coming directly from the pineapples itself. So that's what we're gonna use for this, okay? So the first thing I would say is get your water ready. You wanna go ahead and measure out how much water you're gonna want. You, you're gonna want. Um, you might just fill out the pitcher that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna take this water, I'm gonna pour it into the pot and get it ready to start boiling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with just peeling the, peeling the uh, turmeric and the ginger because these two are gonna actually go in the pot and boil as well. And I just wanted to show you a quick way I like to do this and I forgot to get my little bag for trash. Okay, always get something so you can put your trash in, okay? So this is just a little uh, measuring spoon that I have here and what I'll do is I just take it and I kind of just come down the ginger like this. And that helps to get the skin off so you don't have to worry about trying to cut it um, and lose you know, any excess ginger because you want to try to keep as much ginger um, on here as you can, okay? So just take your spoon and just go across it just like this because to be honest with you, the skin is not you know, that, that hard to get off, okay? I mean, you can actually sit here and cut it if you like, but this is just something that I like to do, okay? So that's how that's gonna go, okay? And you can do the same thing with your turmeric, okay? Be mindful that this turmeric though, if you mess around with this, is gonna possibly turn your hands just a little bit orange, okay? So be mindful of that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off before I get ready to cut them, okay? Okay, so we got majority of the skin pieces off of here, and that's okay. We have just a little bit. I can still get some of that, you know, off by doing that, and it's still okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just chop these up into, like, little, you know, pieces like so. And this is what's going to go inside of the water for it to boil. And like I said, some of the skin is on here, but that's okay because we're not gonna actually keep this stuff. When it's done actually boiling, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these pieces. Now, sometimes people I've seen, they keep the pieces and they like keep them in their water, but I don't do that part. I, I, I don't know why, I just don't feel like it's necessary. Um, as long as I can kind of like render out the good parts of the turmeric and the ginger. And trust me, the taste will still uh, be there. Okay, I might keep some this time. We'll see. Because I have a, this awesome tool, but I had got from Pepper Chef. But they don't sell it anymore because you, know, you just put your, um, you know, your stuff inside of here, and then it just kind of like infuses it. I love using this when I put like cucumbers and raspberries in here and stuff like that and limes. Um, sometimes I can do like mints, you know, put this in the water. But okay, so I have the um, turmeric. I'm not going to use all of this ginger and another thing is ginger is really strong. So <laughs> I'm not going to use all of this ginger in this uh, mix. So I'm going to go ahead and just slice these kind of like this. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and add this into the water. It's boiling right now and we'll come back after it's done. 
I'll let you know how much time I let it boil for because right now it's on now, but we gotta get it going so that, you know, once it's in there, it can start to develop and soothe out, you know, their, um, their benefits. Okay, well, this is cooling. I got it sitting over here on the cooling uh, pot holder here. So I let it boil. Once it started boiling, boiling vigorously, I went on ahead and let it go for 10 minutes. And now I'm just off, letting it cool. Let me see, let me see y'all can possibly see what it's looking like. And you could tell that the water is actually an orange looking color. So yeah, and if you hear something in the background, I'm sorry, I'm multitasking. I got some, some in the fried pan over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, these are already washed. I washed off my uh, lime and the orange already. So here, let me dump that part. I'm just going to go ahead and start making slices. Okay, so that I can put them inside of the pitcher. Okay, so that's all we do with these. I'm going to cut them um, again. I'll show you in just a second. And what I mean by cut them again is I'm going to take them all and kind of just cut them in half like so. Okay, and then I'm going to get this picture and I'm just going to start dropping them inside of here. And then like this, get out of there, just like this. Okay, this is a good one. I'm not going to use that piece either because it's kind of... Yeah, I don't have much on that. Let's see if we can get out of this one. Get that piece off. Let's cut this again. I think we can use both of these. Eh, we can get rid of those pieces. Okay, so these two here. Go ahead, cut those. And put that right there. And then the same thing with this line. I'm gonna take off that piece there. Take that off. Okay, sometimes I add lemon in this too, but I'm not gonna do this time. The last time I felt like my citrus was just too much and they're overbearing for me. So I'm gonna take these off. And for these ones, I'm gonna actually take this apart. You can do slices like this if you don't you know, I know everybody don't have a picture like this. So you can just make slices and drop them in there. But I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop those inside like this okay and i'm going to do um almost the same thing here is i'm going to just put some down in here not too many okay just like this okay and for these i'll just drop them inside of the picture all right and that's it so once this gets done cooling we're going to pour that um water off into this picture and I'm going to also pour a little bit of the pineapple juice in there to hopefully help with the sweetness. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and this is something that I can drink for the rest of the week. You know, sometimes they say recommended one to two cups um, each day. You can also take some out, put some inside of a little cup, heat it up, and drink it warm. So, when we come back, we'll get this done. Okay, so we're back. So, y'all see, I took all of those little pieces out. That's what they all look like right now at that. <laughs> so I decided that I'm going to actually add in a little bit of this ginger, okay, inside of here to make it just a little bit stronger. So we're going to just cut it like this, like so. And I'm going to actually take some of these pieces out because I want the ginger to stay in there longer. So I'm just going to drop those down in there like so. Drop that in, drop that in, drop that in. Now, let us pray. I'm gonna pour this water down in here and we're gonna pray I don't make a mess. Let's go. Ooh, I made a small mess, small mess, small mess. But there we go. All right. And the last part is to add, y'all see that? I'm gonna let y'all just look at that. And the last part is to open up this good old pineapples. We're gonna put a few of those in there. 
and pour a little bit of the liquid in just to help add a little sweetness to it. And remember, this is sugar-free pineapples. However, because it is pineapples, it is going to add a little bit of sweet to it. So, we're going to go ahead, scoop some of those out, and put some in here. All right. Now, this is all about your taste, so you have to determine how many you want to put in to yours. And remember, you can always save this and add more later. So, we're going to pour a little bit of juice in, and that's all. all right now what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna go ahead and put this top we'll screw this back on here and we're gonna actually put this inside of here and we're gonna let it go ahead and put it in the refrigerator refrigerator for at least a day and remember the longer you sit in there sit it in the refrigerator the longer the spices that's in there from the uh, garlic is going to get stronger. All right. So remember, I'll go ahead and put in the health benefits in the description if you want to see what those are. All right. Again, let this sit in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours before you drink this. All right. So there you have it.